Okay, so today I'm going to teach you how to use a looper in Reason. Reason is a techno, typically, but a music making um, uh, software. The reason it won't go to full screen is because it uses a dual screen system like this, where this is your track and this is your rack. Your rack is a front and back. You already know that. Um, so I'm going to minimize this track down to here by closing it out it'll automatically come here um, first what you want to do is go to create and go to Dr. Rex Loop Player I'm using Reason 4 so that's what you're seeing it's the uh, most recent one Dr. Rex Loop Player then hit the open um, then you get a bunch of different types of beats I'm a big drum and bass fan so I'll do that and I'll find one that's medium range crispy sounds fine um, it's not real full but that's fine so now if I preview it notice how it's much slower because this is a 150 BPM loop and you're running at 120 so I want to up the tempo up that to 150 that's what it should sound like now put it to the track now if you play the track it's coming on down here however if I want to add something else this is going to keep going and going and going and now I've got nothing so I want to stop it, go back to the beginning um, and hit the loop on off these are loop settings then it will loop it so if I want to add something Dr. Rex loop player is pretty simple here this is a transpose button um, up or down, you don't typically do that with drum beats slice, pitch, pan, level and decay not real big things uh, you can sync it um, change the that'll change the settings a little bit um, not not real complicated however you can hook it up to other things like distortion and that'll that's now hooked up here it's outputting to the distortion however I don't want that um, now you can loop things over each other go back to Dr. X loop now let's go back to drum and bass and this was 150 BPM and this is 2 however if I go to something that's 165 BPM it doesn't sound right it sounds like if you're mixing something and you've mixed it wrong so go to something 150 BPM now it sounds right and now it sounds more full um, typically I don't like to use loops just because I think it's kind of cheating but there are instances which you need to use loops so if you put that one to the track that one's only half as long but now you've got a full loop, a full drum beat easy to work with, easy to make and that's how you use Dr. Rex loops on Reason